You ready, Steve? Okay, can you hear me, Connor? Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, we'll go ahead and get the questions for Connor McCaffrey. Please raise your hand if you have a question and we'll get started. Go ahead, Chad Leistico. Hey, Connor, seemed like a lot of things uh, were kind of going against you guys today. How did you guys try to keep your composure uh, when things did not go your way? Yeah, you know, I think that's a good question. Um, you know, in this type of game, there's a, there's a lot of things that go on. I mean, they're a really good team. So, you know, every possession is really, really important. Uh, you know, a couple of bounces, you know, I feel like we couldn't get a bounce. We couldn't get a call. And it's just like at times, you know, I think we really buckled down and fought through it. And then there's just a couple of possessions where we might have let it get to us a little bit. And that's the difference in the game. You know, it's just, you know, it's a five point game, you know, with with three minutes to go. Bottom line, you know, with everything that happened, everything that went on. You know, we were right there. And, uh, you know, I just think that against a team like that, you you really need to value every possession and stay mentally tough, fight through everything. You know, people are going to make mistakes. You know, it's what you do after the mistakes that matter. And I think, you know, maybe a couple of bounces go our way, maybe see a different outcome. Uh, but, but, you know, like I said, you know, they're a really good team. They made plays. Uh, and, you know, I feel like, you know, there's definitely things we can improve on if we were to play them again. Tom Kaker, go ahead. Hey, Steve, can I get the ability to record too? Um, and um, Connor, just when you, when you look at, uh, at Illinois, did they present anything different this time or was it just sort of the same game plan? They just kind of uh, kept you guys at bay. Yeah, no, I would say it was honestly pretty much the same game plan. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, you know, they're going to be a team that pressures um, a lot. And, you know, I thought maybe that got to us a little bit too much in the first half. Uh, in the second half, we were a lot better with it. But in the first half, you know, those points on off uh, turnovers were, were huge. Um, and then I think, you know, for the most part, they're they're pretty they're pretty standard of what they like. You know what they're going to do. They're going to run high ball screen action with Frazier and Kofi, Io Kofi, Curbelo and Kofi, and they're going to throw it into them. And I mean, that, that's a big dude now. I mean, that's a big dude, and you gotta you gotta fight him the best you can. Um, and we we did a way better job of that the first time. And I think today. It was just, you know, a combination of things. Honestly, not having Jack really hurts because, uh, you know, Luka gets in foul trouble and, you know, that, that makes it hard, especially at the end. You know, maybe we, we can foul Kofi on the catch, you know, in a one-on-one -on -one situation versus he catching it two feet in the paint. Um, so, you know, these are all things that you think about, all things that, you know, obviously, you know, didn't go our way and, you know, it, it is what it is. But, you know, I think that that's kind of the, just the team that they are. Tom Kakert, go ahead. Well, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, Steve. Okay. I had, uh, All right. Mark Emmer. Yeah, Connor. So now you've got another week to stay here in Indianapolis for your next game. I guess what, what's the key for you guys to get done over here the next six, seven days and to kind of get over this disappointment? I mean, I, I wouldn't call it, you know, I wouldn't call it a disappointment. Um, you know, I think that, you know, I think we fought hard. Uh, you know, I think we we got to be proud of what we've done this season, um, and I think we all are. You know, like I said, some things didn't go our way. Obviously, we want to be playing in the championship, um, but you know, I think now this this upcoming week we'll look back, we'll get healthy. I think that's the main thing, uh, really getting healthy. You know, we got a lot of guys banged up. You know, playing playing a lot of games recently, so you know, get in with Brad and get treatment, um, and then just you know, get in, get your shots up when you can, wherever, wherever we're practicing at. Uh, watch film, get prepared for the next team. You know, the NCAA tournament's going to be completely different. Um, it's new game plans, new teams, and we need to we need to get ready for them. Scott Docterman. Yeah, Connor, I mean, you, you've played in the toughest league in the country. You played the number one team in the country. You have five teams probably you played against that'll be a top three seeds. How do you think you guys stack up when you reach when you go to the NCAA tournament? Just based on the level of competition you've competed against this year. Yeah, I mean we're we're right there. I mean the you know we're a possession away against you know we beat Ohio State, who's going to be a one or a two seed. Uh, we were a possession away against Illinois at their place today. You know we cut it to five. Obviously, probably two possessions away today. I would say, but uh, you know I, I think you know it's, it's a good question. I think we're. I think we know where we're at. We stack up. We're right with them. Um, and, you know, I think it just comes down to, you know, good game plan, 
uh, and us being you know mentally focused and locked in the entire game uh, through and through and playing absolutely as hard as we possibly can. Our last question for Connor, Chad likes to go. Go ahead. Hey man, if I ask your dad about officiating, he's not going to talk to, he's not going to answer it. So uh, uh, I guess, did you guys have to adjust to the way they were calling today? It, it's, it did seem a little uh, unusual at times. Yeah. You know, I, I think it was unusual just in the sense that when, but it's just that it's Illinois, like when you play games with them, it's just going to be more physical. It just is. And we, and we know that coming in. Um, I, I don't think there's necessarily much more, you know, the, the refs could have done, um, you know, in the first half, they, they didn't really have a lot of fouls called on them, but, you know, I just think that, you know, this game is so much more physical, just this matchup. Um, you know, obviously it's a little bit of a rivalry matchup. And I think that, you know, they, they let things go both ways. Uh, and it, it's a hard game to officiate with how, you know, how they play and, you know, how we played as well. So I, I think that, you know, I, I wouldn't say it was, they were necessarily like, you know, bad or anything today. I just think it's, I just think it's a kind of a crazy game. Uh, a lot of things happening, extremely physical, like I said, and, and it is what it is. You just have to play through that and stay mentally tough. All right. Thank you, Connor, for your time today. Thank you. We'll go ahead with questions for Luca Garza. Luca, you can hear me okay? Yeah, I hear you. All right. Please raise your hand if you have a question. Go ahead. Scott Dockerman. Yeah, Luca. I mean, what what was the physical toll like for you with today in this game? Because you're going up against uh, maybe the biggest player biggest good player there is out there in the country, but just in size. And so what was that like to have to play as many minutes as you did going against a player like that, that physical? Um, you know, it's, 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 it's always tough. You know, obviously he's a, a tremendous big man and he's, uh, he's doing a really good job. And, you know, I'm getting on both ends, obviously. We're both being physical with each other. Um, so we're both wearing on each other. You know, I, I probably, obviously probably played more than he did, but, um, you know, it's just, it's what's, what I'm going to have to deal with. And, you know, I, I've been dealing with it, you know, in, in the Big Ten for a while. And I played against a lot of great bigs. So, um, you know, I, I think uh, for them, you know, I got to do a better job on both ends. I think, you know, dealing with that physicality. I think you know, I kind of got my rhythm in the second half uh, for a little stretch. And then obviously I didn't end too well. But, um, you know, I think, you know, uh, it's just motivation for me personally just to, to be better in the future. Tom Kaker. Luca, did you guys have to adjust to how the game was being called tonight? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think you always have to adjust, you know, just based on what, you know, what's being called, what's not. And obviously, you know, the, it's such a physical game. You can call a foul every single time down. You know, it's just how it is on both ends. You know, we're both banging each other, being very physical. Um, you, know, uh, you know, I think there were some calls that didn't go their way, and I think there were some calls that didn't go our way. Um, and, you know, that's just how the game of basketball is. Mike Halas. Uh, conference tournaments get forgotten pretty quickly. Uh, how soon does this one get forgotten with you guys? And what are what's your mindset about the coming NCAA tournament? You know, obviously it sucks right now uh, to, to lose. Um, and, and, you know, it's going to suck for, you know, tonight. But once, you know, we hear our name called tomorrow, uh, you know, as a very high seed, um, you know, I think we'll be excited about our opportunity uh, to, to do some special things in, in the tournament. So I, I think if anything, it's, it's motivation uh, that, you know, kind of inspires us to just, you know, when we, when we have a chance, you know, we're going to play a team like this, if not them, uh, again, in, in the tournament, you know, if, if we make it to where we want to make it to. So we've got to be able to be better um, in that moment. So, um, you know, I think everyone's really focused and locked in on, on you know, what we want to do. And part of that, obviously, was, you know, winning today, but, you know, the ball doesn't always bounce your way. So we're just going to stay motivated, stay humble, and, and, and get ready to go. Rob McCulley, go ahead. How did you think the defensive intensity matched up today from Illinois versus the first time around? You know, I think when you look at both sides, both teams have improved a lot on the defensive end. I think that's why you've seen a rise in both of us. You know, but at that point, you know, they were – maybe ranked 19th or 15th or something like that. And obviously they are where they are now. And that's because they've really 
ramped it up on the defensive end, and we've done the same thing. And, and tonight, you know, you just saw a really physical game between two great teams, and, and credit to them. They were just better than us um, for certain stretches. You know, we had some moments where we could have um, got ourselves back, you know, into the game. Obviously, we cut it to five and, and different things like that. And, you know, that's obviously upsetting, but, you know, we're, uh, we're, we're not done yet. We know we still got, you know, the thing we've been dreaming of for a while. Now, so we're, we're focused on that. And Chad Lysico. Yeah, you know, you've played 22 straight games now against the Big Ten. And then you, if you count Gonzaga, that's 23 against high level competition. You just kind of you ready for something different, maybe for a game or two here. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I I love playing a game of basketball no matter who it's against. And, you know, obviously I love playing against the best. And, you know, no matter who we play in the tournament, you know, they're going to play it there hard enough. So it's going to be a physical game no matter what. Um, and, and that's what I love. So, you know, I love games like this. And, and you know, you uh, you have to fail uh, to be able to persevere and, and achieve success. So, uh, you know, it's not I'm not afraid of failure. And I'm going to continue to go out there and play as hard as I can every time I, I, I touch the floor. Now, last question comes from Josh Christensen. Go ahead, Josh. Luca, um, you know, now that the focus turns to, you know, finding out, you know, what happens tomorrow, where you, um, who you guys are going to face. Um, I mean, have you guys so far, have you adjusted to this new scene of basically staying in Indianapolis, basically un until your next, until your next game, which, you know, we talked about this earlier in the week, but have you guys figured out, you know, what life is really going to be like these next few days as you get ready for the first round? You know, I, I think we realize, you know, we're so excited to be here to be able to, you know, chase an opportunity. Um, um, so I, I think, you know, for all of us, we know, you know what this means and what it's going to be like, um, and, and we're going to adjust as it goes, uh, and, and we're going to have a lot of fun with it because we're, we're not going to get this opportunity again. All right. Thank you, Luca, for your time today. All right, coach, can you hear me okay? We'll go ahead and get to questions for Coach McCaffrey. Go ahead, Rob McCauley. Hey, friend, uh, what did you think of Illinois' defensive intensity today versus the first time you played them? Hey, White, we tell White's coaches on mute. Yeah. Hang on one second, guys. We'll get that uh, fixed. I got it. You hear me now? Uh, I can yes, hear you. coach. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah, I said it was about the same. Uh, did did the uh, Garza Coburn matchup change drastically from the first time, in your opinion? You know, those two guys have always gone at it pretty good. I think two really good players, uh, real competitors. Thanks, Scott Docterman. Yeah, Fran. What what was without Jack Dungey? How did that impact the game and what you wanted to do? Probably on both ends of the floor. Yeah, you know, I think. I think you, you really like to have another big. We put Josh in there. He was he was fine for the for the minute he was in there. Uh, you know he's such a handful, and we were so worried about Luca getting in foul trouble because we knew we needed Luca you know in the game. Uh, so you know that that does change things. It also changes your zone. Uh, but you know it's opportunity for others. I thought you know I thought Keegan and Patrick, Tony. Joe, I mean, I thought they gave us quality minutes off the bench. I mean, it would have been nice to have another big, no question. Chad Lysko. Hey, Fran, I thought uh, Connor had a really good answer about, uh, you know, he said it wasn't as disappointed as you might think. I mean, this is a, uh, you got bigger things ahead here, I guess. Um, how do you approach this next week now? 
uh, and just take a big picture mindset, I guess, out of this loss? Yeah, you know, when we left Iowa City, I wasn't even sure we were going to play Joe Wieskamp or CJ. Not because I didn't want to win the Big Ten tournament, it was because I, I wanted to do what was right for them. They both wanted to play. They both performed extremely well. Uh, I didn't think CJ was 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 right at the end. That's why I took him out in those last seven minutes. He just didn't look right to me. So I took him out. Uh, but I think we work really hard, all of us in this league, to get better and to try to be playing our best basketball now uh, in preparation for the NCAA tournament. So, uh, you know, we'll just focus on that. You know, we've earned our way in. We're very proud of what we've done. We're not satisfied with what we've done. Yeah, today was a loss, but it's a learning opportunity. We played a, a team that is really tough and you know, I thought we did some good things. We've got, to, we, you know, we got to look at it and try to figure out what else we could have done differently. What could we have done better? And that's what you do. And then you, you know, you try to get ready when you find out who you're going to play and try to advance the NCAA tournament. But I think our league has prepared us and everybody else in this league well for what's coming. Mike Halas. And uh, you kind of answered what I was about to ask but I'll, I'll ask it anyway. It's what do you feel that, how do you feel you progressed with these two games here? What, what do you take away from here? You know, in the last, uh, well, 24 hours. Yeah. You know what, Mike, I think it's a great question because it really challenges your, your mental toughness. You know, we didn't get much sleep, uh, you know, and, and, and we had to challenge our bench in both games. So I think ultimately it's, it's a great opportunity for our program to grow, our players to grow in preparation for the NCAA tournament. So yeah, I, think it, I think it's great. I'm glad we, you know, we approached it the way we did with everybody playing. And, and, uh, and now we'll rest a little bit and get ready for uh, Friday. Tom Kakert. Fran, uh, just kind of a quick question on what you were talking about with CJ. Was that just a function of playing back-to-back -back days more than anything else? Yeah, I don't, yeah, no, it's, it, it, it's not worse, uh, but it wasn't easy what he just did. I'm really proud of him. I mean, how he's performed coming down the stretch has made a huge impact on our team's success. He fights, you know, I think his defense oftentimes, and not by you guys, but I think a lot of times it's underappreciated. Is he ready? And, and uh, I'm really proud of him for that. You know, but I just, you know, when I put him back in there, you know, I, I, I kept him out for a couple, three minutes so that I could have him for the last seven minutes. And he just didn't look right to me. Uh, and, and I told him that. I said, CJ, I love you. I wanted you in there, but he just didn't look right. So I took you out. I wasn't going to put you in that position. Let's get a little bit of treatment and, uh, and be ready to go at the end of next week. Scott Dockerman. Yeah, Fran, in the first half, you had eight turnovers uh, and their ball pressure was pretty intense. You cut that to four in the second half. Were you just able to, to deal with it a little bit better? And, and how did that all kind of come together? Yeah, you know, we're not a team that, that turns the ball over much. I mean, and actually we did it. The last two, the last two games, you know, we, we had, what do we have? Uncharacteristic amount of turnovers in the first half yesterday. Uh, you know, this, this team plays really intense man to man. And, uh, you know, I thought we, we moved it well in the second half. I thought we got good shot opportunities. Uh, and, you know, it's a different kind of game than when you play Wisconsin, both teams are, are good, but they're different. And I thought we adjusted much better in the second half, like you said. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thanks, Coach, Thank for you your guys. time. We'll uh, get Jordan Bohanna here in a couple of minutes.
Ready, Steve? Yep. Okay, so we have Jordan Bohanna here. Go ahead and uh, raise your hand if you have a question for Jordan. Go ahead, Mark Emmert. Yeah, Jordan, in the second half, I felt like you guys were kind of chasing them the whole half just to try to get the, the lead down to you know a manageable point. What, what do you think was the biggest factor about just not being able to get over the hump? Uh, they just made big shots and made big defensive stops when they need to. Uh, we put ourselves in no better position in the second half that we guarded a little better, uh, contained their guards a little better, uh, did a better job in the paint, but you know, we gave up a lot of pain points and um, they came up big on the defensive end when they needed to. We just, for some reason, couldn't get, you know, we got within five, um, but it's around seven, eight point deficit the entire game. And um, that started in the first half. We just dug ourselves a little hole and, um, you know, we, we fought, we fought like hell tonight to try to get it back, but they, they played very, very well down the stretch. Chad Leistico. Hey, uh, what do these next six, seven days look like for you guys? I have no, I mean, you've never been through anything like this before. What do you know about what you're going to do? It sounds like you need rest. Uh, do you sit in your hotel room for 20 hours a day or what? I mean, seriously, I don't know. I, want, I don't know. I don't know. This is new to me. Um, I think there's a little bit of relief to know that the Big Ten is kind of winding down. I think we're a little tired of playing each other. I think a lot of us will end up playing each other, you know, later down um, in the end of the road in the tournament. So we're looking forward to that. But um, for what we're about to do for this next week, I have no idea. I know we're about to be, you know, very restricted on where we can go. I don't even think we can go outside our hotel for um, starting tomorrow. So I think we're going to go outside and have a, you know, walk around a little bit tonight um, just to be outside for a little bit. But um, we just got to stay together and, you know, do what we can to, you know, pass the time, I guess. It's a different different vibe. None of us has ever been through this. So um, we're just ready to take on whatever. Michael Loss. Jordan, you've talked a lot in the last few months about the NCAA tournament, and understandably so. It's your last one. Um, how do you feel about it at this moment in time? I feel great. We put ourselves in a damn good position to make something special. Um, you know, we lost a tough one in Illinois, but you know, our, our two seed is going to hold true. We're going to be a two seed NCAA tournament. We're going to be in a great position to make a run. Um, now, granted, there's going to be a lot of great teams we're going to have to go against to, you know, pass every single game and to, ne to the next round. Uh, but we, we did a phenomenal job this year. Uh, the Big Ten played, put ourselves in a good position to make a run. Um, we battled our butts off tonight, uh, and I think this game will only help us moving forward. Illinois is a very, very great team, very well coached. A lot of great players on that team, and, um, you know, we cut within at five. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think we played very good tonight. And, you know, we were still right there with them. Scott Docterman? Yeah, Jordan, how did uh, the – Illinois' defensive ball pressure impact you guys, especially in the first half when you had eight turnovers? Yeah, I mean, it was kind of like the last game against Wisconsin. We had eight turnovers in the first half, and I think we were just trying to, you know, shake the rust off, and I thought we would come out a little better in the first half, but for whatever reason, um, we were a little loose with the ball again. Um, but that, you got to get a lot of credit to their defense. They're always up into you. Um, you know, that... They're letting a lot of things go tonight, which they should. It's big time basketball. And, you know, we just had to keep fighting through it. And, you know, they, they came out on top tonight. And our last question for Jordan comes from Tom Kakert. Jordan, I probably should ask Fran this, but do you, what are you guys planning for tomorrow? Are you going to just gather in somebody's hotel room? Do you got a ballroom set, to, set aside? What are you guys doing? I have no idea. I think it's kind of embarrassing. NC hasn't said anything about Know, what their plans are for the, these college athletes that are coming on to, you know, Indianapolis, you know, we're basically have been told that we're supposed to be in our, our room for, you know, unless we have to go to practice or to a game. So it, I think it's been, you know, terrible leadership by them to not, you know, have anything said about what we can do in our free time. I think they just expect us to be in our room 24 seven. And um, 
that that doesn't seem you know feasible in my mind but you know we're all grateful that we got in here to this tournament i'm not gonna you know continue to rat on them for not holding this event because they're doing this in the middle of a pandemic and so far everything's been run smoothly um, we're hoping we can get through this tournament you know 100 with no pauses or nothing any opponents that we play or anyone that makes the tournament so from that standpoint it's been you know run very smoothly we're looking forward to try to make a deep run all right thanks jordan for your time appreciate Thank it you. okay thanks everyone